Many communities in Western North Carolina outside of the major storm damage are making a plea for visitors. Three weeks after Helene, some cities say they are ready for company. And the future of many small businesses hangs in the balance. John Lee meets one of those faces of tourism in tonight's Faces at the Carolinas. Not all heroes wear capes. Maggie Valley's Goodwill Ambassador, Miss Maggie, rocks a bonnet as she represents the chamber. Miss Maggie brings a sense of normalcy. She brings a, a sense of peace and calm. On social media, Miss Maggie and other tourism supporters across the mountains spread the word. Visitors are welcome. It's a tragedy. So our, our community needs support and they need tourism. They, they need our, for a lack of better terms, they need our money. Obviously, the fall leaf peeping season is the last thing on the mind of folks in places like Chimney Rock or Asheville, for example. But less damaged locales are desperate to get back to business. Our businesses are reporting anywhere from a 45 to 80 percent loss this month. This billboard paid for by Visit Smokies says visitors need it, naming nearly a dozen destinations. Communications Director Mickey Canales says five westernmost counties were spared the brunt of Helene. Towns like Dillsboro, Franklin, Bryson City, and Andrews, just to name some. Canales tells us business owners reached out for help because everyone thinks they're closed. We are making no money and we've had catastrophic cancellations. We are using all of our savings, all of our retirement, and we don't know if we're going to be open next year. That is the indirect effect that we are having now. As recovery efforts continue, travelers are encouraged to tread lightly and be respectful. Don't take pictures of people's tragedies and trauma. Be a mindful tourist. Don't go gawking. Don't go disaster sightseeing. Now Brevard is another city that declared we're open. Last week, Kenton's mayor posted that his hometown is also on that list. There are posts daily of people, of businesses saying, I don't think I'll survive. If you're unable to make a road trip, there are other ways to uplift entrepreneurs. You can buy a gift card. You can order stuff online. You can rent a campsite and just say, I'm not coming. Rent a hotel room, say, I'm not coming. And it will likely take support in a variety of ways to help keep businesses afloat. And that's why the woman in a bonnet is on it. They need us. They need our support. They need you. John Lee, Queen City News.